Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. I did a piano tuning for a friend and he gave me this very cool, vintage, interesting keyboard. I know from the title you already know what it is, so here we go, we're gonna open it up. So the story is, is that I was doing a piano tuning for a friend and I told him, I said, instead of paying me money, if you have anything you wanted to trade me like a keyboard, I usually take in trades for that, which is true. And so, judging by the title, and I'm gonna open it up right now. I present to you this beautiful vintage Yamaha CP30. Now this, of course, it's an old, old vintage CP. This was basically their electric piano line. And it came, basically almost falls into the synthesizer line earlier. Um, I don't know what technology it is. I don't think it's FM technology, but it has a cool casing. You see that beautiful wood casing? Beautiful, beautiful. Gonna be honest with you, I don't know if it's actual wood, but it is just gorgeous. Um, I had one of these long, long time ago. Me and my mother, we were living in an apartment in Coral Gables, Florida. And I, and I didn't have that much money, you know, back then. And just my high school years. And I wanted something like this. I wanted something like a Fender Rhodes that, that can actually fold up. And it was really cool. And back then, I thought this was like a Clavinova, you know, because the way how it looked. But over here, as you can see, there's two pitch bending, or I don't know if it's pitch bending, but it's two pitch, pitch uh, knobs. You have the decay, you get the speed, the tremolo, the intensity. Over here, you have uh, two different sections. You got piano one, two, three, harpsichord, and the same thing with the section two. The balance, so I guess you could layer them. The bass tone, the treble tone, and you also have the volume. And as you can see, this is 76 keys, fully laid out, piano box style keys. And it comes with its own case. And these two halves right over here, these are the actual, um, this is the actual stand for it. And over here, as you can see, it's upside down, but it has uh, instructions the way how you can actually put those on. So let's put it together. Also just to show you and apologize for the light because there's no lighting here but right over here you got a foot switch for the tremolo and the sustain and you got three outputs right over here and you have your power and your fuse so this is definitely like an analog circuit um, electric piano 
So let's play it. All right, so I shined up the case a little bit and um, tried to take these off. I have a feeling that the person who had it before, um, you know, basically puts crazy glue, which I hope not. I hope I can just take all these off because it is such a very rare eclectic uh, digital, or not digital, electric piano. And um, okay, so let's turn it on. I have not turned it on yet. I plugged it into my speaker. I found out that where it says one, two, and three, actually it's one, which is one set right over here, and this is the second set right over here, and then you can have one and two together for the third one. So here we go. It has some kind of noise. You know it's old, so. All right, so I'm gonna try every note. One note's not working right here. Very nice action. Very nice action for it. So that's that's piano one. Here's piano two. Very, very sensitive. Very sensitive. And you have harpsichord, which is right here. To, um, I'm going to get back to the piano two actually because piano one has that noise on there. Um, you also have the same thing on this side over here. So piano one, and it's basically the same thing. So how about piano two and three together on both of them? So that's cool. Over here you got the two pitches for one and two. So if I were to have one. Then I have my honky tonk piano right here. If I put hearts chord in this one, both of them actually. But let's just start with one piano. So we have one piano, so that's a pitch right here. This over here is the decay. Sound like very, very early Yamaha. Piano two, tremolo on that, and 
So say for instance, if you have um, right over here, you have piano one and two, and piano three and harpsichord. You have a balance right over here. So. really neat. So you have your balance for left and right, whatever one you want. This can become your manipulator bar. Um, you have also, going back to piano too, because that's the cleanest that we have. Sorry to not show that much of anything else. You have your uh, tone equalizer right here. So right over here is your bass. So you have to take, take away the trouble of it. Put back on my trouble. Take away my bass. So on number one, I'm taking down decay. So sharp and number two. So it's nice, but it's something that I really, I mean, it's good to reminisce with this, but it's something that um, I really don't need in my collection, which is really good. <clears throat> what I'm going to end up doing with this is cleaning it up, try to fix it up as much as I can, and just basically reselling it because it's such it's such a cool. very heavy everybody including with the case that's built into it it is um it's not light it's not light at all but it's very heavy it's a cool it's a cool unit I'm so glad to be reunited with it again um, but yes I am going to um, end up reselling it it's something that I really don't need in my collection um, no matter how many uh, keyboards and pianos that I have and everything like that but it's it's really good so this is gonna be actually for sale um, I'm going to try to take off all the stickers as I can. As I said, I hope they're not crazy glued on. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. Please click like, subscribe with everything. Do me a favor and also click like and subscribe to my friends. Um, also notification, which is actually the Bradge. And he, uh, as I said, he's a keyboard enthusiast too. He likes to collect keyboards and just does his keyboard reviews. That's the Bradge, which is Bradley. And also to Michael, Michael Lovely, which is um, which is keyboard crazy. And I tell you this, Michael and I, we also used to we used to compete so many times of how who has the most keyboards, and now he won because I don't have the most keyboards. Have as you can see, I'm more acoustic pianos now. I'm more of a pianist, and um, the keyboards were getting too overwhelmed with me. So yes, I will be I will be selling this at a very low price because it is taking up room in my house and everything. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye-bye.